Lori's a new member, newish member of the Converge team. Uh, Lori, thanks again for being here with us today. And just like I've asked everyone else, uh, can you take a minute and tell us about yourself and your history? I can. So I have been in the telecommunication industry for about 25 plus years. I, like Gary, started as a customer. I worked for a partner back in the day um, and numerous providers. Uh, the past 13 years, I've been a senior project manager with Shortel and then the Mitel acquisition until I separated from them in July. So we heard Frank talk a bit about the future of Mitel Connect. Um, I guess I'm looking for a little bit of your own perspective at the time of your separation from Mitel. What did you witness as far as the you know, personnel that were working on the Heritage Shortel product line? Okay, once that um, announcement was made with the cloud and Ring Central, a lot of people left. Um, the, I was part of the last implementation team to leave. And but with all with people leaving, a lot of that tribal shortel heritage knowledge is is gone. Um, you know, I know Frank had said that there's you know that seven, 10 year time frame. Uh, but it's I think that it's sunset that product sunsetting and seven to ten years it seems like a long time but it's really not in with the amount of the way the community this it's a they're not phone systems anymore they're communication systems and there's so much to it so it seven to ten years like i said sounds like a long time but it's it's really not that long with a successful background in ucas operations and uc i'm sure there are multiple providers seeking out your services and uh, I, I guess <laughs> a little bit of uh, uh, maybe an obvious question, maybe not. Why did you choose to come work for a partner like Converge um, for your, the next chapter? You know, it was a big decision on my part. It was, um, you know, I kind of took a step back and, and looked at what I really liked to do. Um, I was with a manufacturer for many years and it uh, it gave me that chance to really sit back and say, where do you feel like you're doing the most help? Um, being in professional services for a manufacturer, it's very, uh, it's a numbers game. It's very booked. It's all about book to bill. It's very transactional and scripted. Do you feel like in your previous role working for the manufacturer, you were able to be uh, as customer centric as maybe you wanted to? No, I was, it was a really tough line to walk for me. Um, I really, I sat on the fence of between doing what was right for the customer and what was doing and what was doing right for the business. Um, it was just, that's just the nature of the beast. So how about your relationships with customers now? Now that you've, uh, you're no longer with the manufacturer, you're with a partner. Has your perspective on your or your relationships changed at all with customers? Absolutely. Um, now I feel like I can use the years of experience that I have in this industry and kind of coming at it from a customer and provider. Now as a partner, I feel like I can truly consult and that give that genuine and honest opinion. Um, get to know their business better, be able to define their goals and their long-term vision for their communications. Um, you know, once those once those goals, I'm able to, to be, you know, I, I have that time with the customer. I can really dive into their, you know, a day in the life of them. Um, once we're able to have those conversations and learn what their goals are and we get those defined, uh, then I get to be the voice of the customer. and kind of cut through all of that noise, fill in those gaps for the customer and, and make sure that everything is, is done to meet their goals.